All right, horn doesn't work. We're gonna attempt to fix it. Chevy GMC 0307. First thing, disconnect this thing over here. Your negative battery cable. You're going to be taking off your airbag. There we go. Get that out of here. It's probably going to rain again. I do something. All right, that's off. Get tools. It's only been broken for about a week and we had the part for a week but it has to rain every day. Best tool to get the airbag off is this. So if the camera gets wet, it's just raining, you get a stick. Both sides has it, a little hole. You gotta go poke this and you poke a little tab. You see it moving already on the airbag. Two hands and I can't set up a tripod because it has to rain every day. All right, so you see I got one side popped. Basically, you put put your tool, which is just this little piece of rod in a hole. See it over there? And then you push. You find the clip, you'll find it, and you just pull back on the airbag. Oh, now you see where we are released. Now you get your airbag connection. This is a horn contact. I'm going to be screwing with. And of course, it has to rain. So let's do this fast. Two connections, you know, you should really let this thing sit longer, but it's raining. <laughs> it's getting annoying fast, I know. Very easy to remove, there's two little squeeze tabs, you get a pink and a white, just make sure you put them back in the right spot. Alright, this is the horn thing, remember your contacts go up, and this little clippy thing is facing up, you can put it upside down. This is just a twist and turn. See, like last week I actually cleaned this thing up. And it worked for a little bit, and then it stopped working again. So, I don't know, that tells me there's something in here that's bad. Or possibly just these contacts are bad on the wheel. I don't know. I'll clean those up, though. I'll take it all off. And, uh, yeah. Not a, no. Look, we've got bugs in here, everything. This is wonderful. Goddamn rain! Alright, this is a T27. I thought it was a T30. Like I got this cool thing, Snap Off makes it, uh, it's not a paid thing too, should I do the music like in my other video? Paid sponsorship, as, as a joke. But yeah, it's 3 8 drive, but mini, and it works very good for little Torx things. So yeah, this actually might be a Torx Plus fastener, they use that in a lot of new cars. I have to get a set of Torx Plus, let me just get the last one, but yeah, get these four things off, they can get these contacts off. We're gonna go back in the rain. And hopefully this will fix the corn. Worst video ever. Yeah, I thought I was going to do a better one. But the weather's not cooperating. And I've been tired of waiting for a week to go do this. So, you do what you got to do. I'm tired of having parts around. Basically, you just take this off. Again, note how this thing was. You see the little tab? That faces up. So you can put this shit on. Uh, or whoops. This thing on. Upside down very easily and yeah I don't know if there's Loctite on here but if there is put more Loctite if there isn't there isn't I don't even think they eh, maybe they do oh yeah they do they mark it right there as an arrow and for okay that's weird and there's they put a, a punch mark on the steering column piece this wheel should really come off. This is going to be the next thing if this doesn't fix it. We're going to take the wheel off. We're taking our column covers off and there's more contacts in there. Get better access to the clock spring. So that is that. This should come off any minute now. This vehicle is getting hotter by the second because it has to rain. See, there's the other contacts right here. Actually, these actually could be dirty. Maybe we did not clean these before. And maybe I won't need a new part. Oh man, they'll put the new part in anyway. Because it's just kind of worn over here. So, clean these. Scotch Bright. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, it's actually four. I might keep this though. I'm probably going to keep this part. It is a little beat up and stuff, but you know, just remember the white tab up. So we got our new one on the floor. So let me go get a little piece of scotch Pride or something. And uh, clean up all these little contacts. Because they are pretty nasty. One, two, three, four. Actually without even replacing what I'm doing. This might fix it. Because it did fix it for like a week. And then it didn't work again. 
or maybe for a minute and fix it. So you can, could try that before buying the whole part. But let me go get some stuff before I get trapped into this thing. Ah, rain! I just missed it. USPS is so screwed up. I got a non-Amazon package on Sunday, but think I'm complaining? Not at all. I get it all the time here. Anyway, we gotta clean that up. You see, now from dark nastiness, they're a little more shiny. And that could have been her issue without needing a new part. But what I also did last week, I sprayed some contact cleaner down on this hole. And that's just what a little horn ring is. That seemed to work. But basically what goes wrong with this, either this will wear a little brass piece. This one is actually worn. When you look at it, it's physically worn and flattened compared to the new one. And then you have your little contacts, one, two, three, four, the little nubs. When you push her on the wheel, it grounds it on the actual steering wheel. Bam, bam, bam. That's what's grounding it. And then that circuit's always supposed to be hitting that ring. So when you hit right here, bam. It goes meh and stuff like that. To clean these up as best as you can because I really don't want to take it apart again, but if I have to, I have to. We're taking the whole wheel off, changing the lights. You know they don't make these anymore? They didn't want crazy money for used ones. That's probably just out of stock maybe about a year ago. So that's General Motors screwing you over again, not supporting the vehicle and it really isn't even that old. Uh yeah. Actually, all these things are actually like worn, seriously. They're worn, there's some that thing smashing into them in the use. But hopefully, we'll get that. If not, we have to flatten this. And maybe resurface all these four things if this that's still not going to work, this fix. So let's go get a new part, which is... He's talking too long in the video. That's her brand new part. Dorman does make this, but I probably would avoid it. Because the General Motors part... This cost about the same or less as the Dorman part. But there's part number 16821883. I've seen people on YouTube, they are like soldering these things and stretching them. Just, just get a new one, seriously. It's 12 bucks. Don't even bother trying to fix up the old one if you don't have to. So, that is the deal with that. So, we did not have, no, no Loctite on this. So, I think that's sufficiently clean. Get our airbag wires out of the way. And uh, let's go stick this thing back in. Remember, the tabs up. I didn't show reconnecting it. But there we go. You just give it one little push. Alrighty, it feels better with the new contacts. Alright, hopefully um, this might work. I'm looking for my, it's my specialty tool. It's a Kentmore tool. I made it myself. Right, let's go go outside and get wet. And uh, put this on and... We probably still won't have a horn. Yes, the relay is fine. You can also check that, the horn relay. But I'm not showing you where it is because it's raining. It's underneath that box, though. Clearly marked. Ah, damn rain. Why am I bitching about the rain? Well, if you ever get flooded, you will know about it. Change your mind to about rain. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, that's how you do it, but we're probably going to uh, take it apart again because only half the distance works and the other half is dead. So, it's like partly was the corn contact, I didn't have anything. And partly I think it's that ring behind the column we got to clean again. Oh man. Yeah, so we got a connection issue, probably in the horn ring. It's kind of stopped ringing, you can go, go out here again. I'll fix it eventually. It's gonna be we're gonna be dodging rainstorms now for like six months. This seat needs a new thing too bad. But it's their ride, they wrecked it. They wrecked the ride. They all over here I got nothing. But I got a little bit in this corner and over here it goes down. That's all that it works, only on this range. This range, bad. So I'm saying there's something screwed up in here. So I gotta take these column covers off again. 